Chapter 8 Arthur and Buster were standing outside Muffy's house. Francine had kept up her strange behavior for six days straight. Everyone figured she couldn't go on much longer. I still don't see why we are here, said Buster. We could be trying other ways of making Francine mad. We could put itching powders in her socks or repeat everything she says or... Arthur shook his head. We've tried that kind of stuff already. It's not working. They, there may, may be something else going on here. He rang the bell. But why ask Muffy? said Buster. He rubbed his neck and looked on at the shiny women scene in the driveway and the fancy flowers bordering, bordering the room. Besides, whatever, I couldn't come to her house. I always feel like I shouldn't be wearing fancy, scratchy clothes. Never mind that, said Arthur. Muffy is Francine's best friend. She may be able to help. Muffy answered the door. Hi, Muffy, said Arthur. Then he paused, and told if had been had his idea to consult. Muffy wasn't sure what he should say exactly. Nice day, isn't it? Muffy looked up at the sky. Then she smiled at Arthur. I guess so. Did you come all the way over here just to give me the weather report? Well, not exactly. I like your sneakers. Buster put in her. He did look any more comfortable than Arthur. Muffy nodded. Thanks. I got them yesterday, but I didn't think you paid attention to those things, Buster. Not always, Buster admitted, but it's good to stay. Stay in training the case. It had to solve any more mysteries. Speaking of mysteries, said Arthur, that's really why we come. Have you noticed the way Francine had been acting lately? Muffy blinked. What do you mean? You, you must have noticed, said Arthur. After all, you're, you are her, her best friend. She's been so politic and helpful, handling like the real Francine at all. I may have noticed something, said Muffy, but I don't think it's anything to worry about. We do, said Buster. He told her about brain, a soda bottle, tissue. Muffy looked at her watch. Don't worry, she said. She will be back to normal by the time tomorrow afternoon. Arthur looked surprised. How do you know that? He asked. I just do. That's all I can say. Arthur nodded. He didn't care what kind of secret the girls were keeping as long as Francine wouldn't get back to normal soon. You mean right after the street hockey game? Muffy looked surprised. The game. I've forgotten about the game. Are you alright, Muffy? asked Arthur. All of a sudden, you look sort of pale, like a vampire victim, Buster added. I'm fine, said Muffy. Really, I just hope we don't lose tomorrow. Arthur and Buster looked at each other. Yeah, me too. They both sat together.